And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with the Game Boy Geek. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Hey, today we are going to be in the kitchen making some good food, some good eating. But while we're there, there's going to be bugs running around trying to screw up our meals. Oh man, it's disgusting. But hey, that's what happens in real life. So today we're going to be checking out Bugs in the Kitchen by Ravensburger. I picked this up at Target. It actually had a sticker on the box that said exclusively held at Target. And I got it for, I think, 20 bucks. It's normally 25, got it for 20 bucks. This is a two to four players for ages six and up. This is essentially a kid's game, a family game. It's brainless, but it is a lot of fun. Wait till you see what this bug does jumping around the board. It's cool. Stay tuned and I'll show you. Okay, here we have bugs in the kitchen. This actually sits in the board. Uh, what you're trying to do is get this bug to get into what to, into your pantry and you get to catch them. Uh, with two players playing, you get to select opposite sides of the board. And this is one player and that's the other player. With three players, you'd open up a third. And with four players, all of the pantries are open. And it's very simple. What we have here is we have different things. We have a forks, we have spoons, and we have knives. And those forks, spoons, and knives are all over the board. We're going to get this bug going crazy and we're going to start rolling the dice. If I have a spoon, I have to move a spoon one way and it just moves like 90 degrees. Uh, if I roll a knife, it has to be a knife. If I roll a fork, it has to be a fork. If it's a question mark, I can move any of them. So let's turn on the bug and show you how this goes. So there goes the bug. He's running around. He's bouncing up and down. And let's say, um, here we go. Let's say I've rolled a... Uh, a fork, so this guy goes like this. Normally you'd be rolling off on the table, but for you to see here, question mark, let's say I move this like this, question mark, this guy, maybe this guy opens it up this way, and question mark, this guy opens it up this way, boom, done. So this guy would get one point, and he would get one of these bug markers. And the first one to five wins. They give you four variations of the way to set the board. Here's another one. But notice that once the bug's going and things start to open up, one thing you can do is start to block other people. So we know that this guy's gonna come around here. Someone rolls a knife and gets that. And this player's obviously going to try to maybe block it so it comes down to here. But when it's your turn, you're not only just trying to figure out where you want the bug to go, you want to figure out where he doesn't want him to go. So if we open him up, oh, I want him to go in there and then he goes in there. So the cool thing is, is that when he's going, you can try to block him by rolling the dice and getting him to go where you want. And here are the four different things that you can set it up with. I can imagine that you could make a lot of your own if you'd like to. Uh, and the first one to get five bug tokens wins. You can also play the reverse way where getting the bug is bad and, and the first person that gets five loses. All right, that is Bugs in the Kitchen from Ravensburger. Gosh, I gotta tell you, I don't even have any kids, and <laughs> I had a blast playing this game. My wife and I sit there and turn on that bug and it's buzzing around and going around and you're trying to block it from each other and doing it. It's just such a simple, goofy, easy game. It brings out giggles, it brings out laughs. It's kind of mindless, but it's, it's just pure fun. Kids love it. Older people that don't have kids love it. Gosh, this thing is really cool. For 20 bucks, you can't beat this game. That little micro bug is really cool. The way it just seemed to like know where to go and it's moving around, it was it was just really cool to see how it did that. And then when it falls in and it gets on its back, it looks like it's a bug. Like yeah, it's just it's just really cool and fun. Now, uh, with four people, obviously the rounds are a lot shorter because it can only it only has to go in, you know, four of the things. With two people, each round takes probably close to about twice as long. Um, so I kind of like the two-player game better because there is actually, you know, a little bit of thinking involved. With a four-player, man, it's over really quick, but it's still fun no matter what. If you're just good, if you have kids or you don't, apparently for me, if you have kids, you just want to have them giggle and have fun. 20 bucks, you can't beat bugs in, bugs in the kitchen. You got to check this one out from Ravensburger. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. <laughs>